the Landscape Recovery Project in North Norfolk is a habitat creation project. We can create species-rich grasslands like the one we're stood in now. As you can see from our backdrop, they're stunning, and this is just the start of it. We can expand sites like this further along the river valley. Nature can sit alongside agriculture. Holcombe is a big producer of commodities and food. It's really important that the farmers and tenants for the Holcombe estate benefit for this project. We've got a lot of people involved in this, from farmers to landowners to ecologists to environmentalists. The North Norfolk Coast Area of Outstanding National Beauty has over six million visitors a year and they will see the landscape change. They will see the benefit. The Norfolk Rivers Trust are going to lead on the restoration of the rivers themselves within the valleys. Where we can create wetlands we will make it wet if the topography and the soils permit. Where we can't we will create species rich grasslands. So it will be bigger, it will be joined up and it will benefit multiple people. We're asking many landowners to give up a small part of their farm so they can continue with arable production on the lion's share of their holding but make up a big picture by working together across the landscape. North Norfolk is predominantly an arable area but on the grazing marshes we have belted galloway we also have sheep that graze the arable land utilizing cover crops so if we can integrate them and the cattle that can lightly graze areas of freshwater marshes but also the sheep can potentially winter graze the calcareous grassland the river valleys can have periodic grazing using the livestock as the management tool for the biodiversity. We looked at a range of species but focused on five species in particular. On the sand dunes of the Natjak toad, on the freshwater marshes are spoonbill breeding and feeding. Uh, we also see grayling butterfly and barbastel bats and, and turtle dove. And turtle dove, a species which has seen significant decline. The North Norfolk Coast Project also has four chalk streams. Chalk streams are a rare river system. We need to understand the impacts of the water quality through our farming, water treatment systems, and how we can use nature-based solutions to resolve some of those. If we improve the quality of the water, we improve the nature that lives and benefits from it. I'm of the firm belief that we can have this balance, that we can have nature, we can have food, we can have farming, we can have people that sit alongside each other without it having a significant detriment to the overall productivity of agriculture in Norfolk. I'm Becky Banks, I'm the North Norfolk Landscape Recovery Project Officer. We're just having a walk along the River Glaven. This is an example of a river restoration project that we delivered in 2014 to show you the sorts of things that we may be able to deliver through landscape recovery. This project was looking at connecting upstream and downstream of the River Glaven, which is a chalk stream, so a unique and rare priority habitat. This section of the river was actually canalised and tunnelled under the ground and the estate that we see here today. The starting point was we wanted to put the river back. What we've done here is restore about a kilometre of river to create really nice habitat for a variety of species including brown trout, eels, lamprey. My name's Roger Coombe. Here we are on a nice wet spring day. We're standing in Bayfield Park in North Norfolk. I'm lucky enough to be the custodian of Bayfield on this beautiful 2,000 acre estate. It was a collaboration between the River Glaven Conservation Group, Natural England, Anglian Water of Norfolk Rivers Trust. And they were looking for innovative projects, turning straight rivers back into what they once would have been. Here we are, what, three, four years later, lots of riffles, so there's lots of spawning ground and it's looking fantastic. It's just a lovely natural sinewy river. Looking at landscape recovery and the opportunities there, I think we'll be looking to see if we can deliver things like this, but also much more holistic uh, landscape scale approach. So looking much more at floodplain reconnection, at uh, meadow restoration, scrubby habitats, um, and really linking up the river corridors from the headwaters right down to the sea. What is the most appropriate habitat for that area, how we deliver that over a 20 year time frame. The fish actually came back really quite quickly and we had brown trout spawning, bullhead, we've got lamprey and eels using it as well so that was really really positive. Um, invertebrates as well um, have done well and now um, the invertebrate populations that we 
see here are as good as any that you find elsewhere on the, sort of the best parts of the chalk stream. I'm a food producer. We have a lot of outdoor pigs here. Traditionally, this land has always been malting barley and sugar beet. We grow um, marisotta, which is a very, very old traditional barley, which goes into um, uh, making traditional English ales. It gets exported all over the world. We are cooperating with other farmers and we've now joined a Norfolk Coastal Group. Everybody's circumstance is different. We're all trying to get to the same place. Aside from this, we've got a big project going to take the dirty water from the Holt Sewage Works and stop it going straight into the Glaven, take it through my meadows and get rid of some of the phosphates and, and the heavy metals. I've also taken advantage of the new tree planting schemes and we've put in nearly 40 acres of oak, chestnut, cherry, they were fields which, you know, even in the best of worlds, you were never going to achieve any great yields. On decent land, you should prioritise farming. In places like this, you make the most of the landscape recovery and all the schemes that are being brought in. There's no doubt about it, landscape recovery has a huge part to play. I am Phil Harrison part of the family of um, LG Harrison and Son. We farm towards Stifke that way, and then we tenant this farm, church farm, from Holcomb Estate. We are down on the, what we call the Warren Marshes. It's over the bank there where the marshes are. Around this is all marsh land, heavy clay. It was growing wheat and it was very expensive uh, to get it established. And then we would watch Brent geese come flying off the marsh just over there and graze it repeatedly and end up with a, a seriously depleted yield. And we approached Natural England and in a five year break in the HLS, we were able to change it into wet grassland for breeding waders. The benefits to the, to the landscape around it has just been phenomenal. It's quite a typical North Norfolk farm from an arable point of view. We'll see rape, sugar beet, winter barley, malting barley, and winter wheat, spring barley. And then we also run a suckler herd. That's one of the biggest benefits from the landscape recovery is the increased grassland for the suckler herd that we won't have to source from other parts of the, of the farm. Um, it was drilled rather than natural regeneration. There's Voxide Daisy, Ragged Robin, there's Vetches, Clovers. It's just a great place for the cattle to forage. When we started this project five years ago, we knew there's a, a great source of water down the other end of the field. And we were able to use that. We can control the water level to whatever level we want, really. Um, you can see it's high at the moment. We will drop that down just to start providing some some mud and breeding areas. It's a great site for avocets and lapwing, ducks and geese. We're seeing the benefit in the targets that we've been aiming at, the farmland birds, um, breeding waders. It's you know, very, very pleasing, very satisfying, and just so glad we've done it. Come down very early in the mornings, there's just constant cacophony of different bird song, and yeah, it's just lovely. It's a haven for everything. We know how important the North Norfolk coast is as far as ecological systems are concerned. It's, it's an incredibly important area and very few areas like it in the country. First and foremost, we want to produce food. You know, we've got animals over there that are producing food for us, which is you know, a absolutely critical thing at the moment. It's, it's, it has to be in conjunction, it has to work. And I think providing we can collaborate and, and make sure that, I mean, this is a, a really good indication you've got this hit perfect wet breeding ground, a healthy looking crop of oil seed right there. Now that's what we're after. Food production, good food production, but we can do it in conjunction with landscape recovery.